Welcome to our informative video series. When the temperature drops this winter, don't let your motivation for exercise fall along with it. Cold weather doesn't have to put a chill on your fitness routine, even if the treadmill or stair stepper seems boring compared with jogging or riding your bike outside. It is important to ask yourself, how can I exercise differently to make it more motivating? Today we are going to explore a new world of exercise. Here are 5 fresh forms of indoor fitness. If you're seeking an answer to your winter exercise, you may want to consider these 5 indoor fitness choices. We know many people will only prefer hanging on to familiar workout and fitness activities, but we recommend you trying something different and new. We are not advising you to completely forfeit your familiar activities, but always keep some variety in your exercise routines to prevent boredom and drop out. If you haven't been exercising regularly, be sure to check with your healthcare provider before starting a new exercise routine. Number 1 will be kickboxing. I strongly believe we are all familiar with the word kickboxing, maybe not as an exercise, but from Hollywood martial arts movies. Kickboxing uses martial arts kicks and punches in an aerobics class setting. Kickboxing is a high-intensity exercise. Based on article published by the American Council on Exercise, a 135-pound person is likely to burn 350 to 450 calories during a 50 minutes class. We advise all interested participants to take steps to prevent injury, especially muscle strains and joint problems. If you're a beginner, start slowly and work up to more complicated moves. Number 2 is, Off the Deep End. A pool workout isn't limited to the endless back and forth of lap swimming, thanks to water aerobics and other classes that take place in pools. Because the effects of gravity decrease in the water, a pool workout is easy on the joints. Since water is about 12 times thicker than air, it increases resistance which helps you build strength, and moving through water also gives you cardiovascular benefits. American Council on Exercise says that pool can provide a workout at a high intensity with almost no impact, a real plus, especially as you get older. People recovering from injuries and women after pregnancy can also gain a lot from a water workout. The American Council on Exercise offers two cautions. You still sweat, even in the pool, so drink before you feel thirsty to remain hydrated. Also, because blood flows more easily when you're in the water, your heart rate will be lower than it would be using the same intensity on land. Pay attention to your breathing and how tired you feel, so you don't overdo it. Number 3 is, Racket. What is a racket? A racket, or like some may call it, racket. It's a sports implement consisting of a handled frame with an open hoop, across which a network of strings, or catgut is stretched tightly. It is used for striking a ball or shuttlecock in games such as squash, tennis, racquetball, and badminton. Collectively, these games are known as racket sports, it's a very beneficial form of exercise, as racquetball uses almost every muscle in your body, as also confirmed by the US Racquetball Association. Your heart rate stays high even when you stop between points. Finding a place to play should be easy. Courts are in nearly every YMCA, also on many college campuses, and in many health clubs. Please be sure to protect your eyes with the correct eyewear when you play. We all know that being forced indoors during the winter can make you feel like climbing the wall. Yeah, like Spider-Man. This puts climbing the wall on number 4 in this our informative video series. On a more serious note, instead of trying the Spider-Man's movie concept of climbing the wall, we highly recommend you look for a specially designed climbing wall at your health club or local college. Just by scaling a 40-foot height using only handholds and footholds can seem scary. But even if you can do a single chin-up, you can try climbing wall. Hey, no need for you to panic. Climbers always wear safety harness and have a partner on the other end of the rope, strapped in on the ground to make any fall a short one. The good news is that, for you to participate in this activity, you don't have to buy your own climbing gears, climbing facilities always provide all the safety equipment and climbing shoes. Finally, number 5 will be spin cycle. If riding the stationary bike is getting old, you might want to try indoor cycling. This is often called spinning. Indoor cycling classes are instructor-led fitness classes taught on stationary bikes, accompanied by music. The instructor takes you on a virtual ride, changing the speed and resistance. Indoor cycling helps toning the lower body, works your heart and lungs, and burns 350 calories to 600 calories per 45-minute class. Calories burning varies depending on the size of the participant and the intensity level of the class. 
The American Council on Exercise warns that the classes can be high intensity and are generally not for a person who is just beginning to exercise. Even so, most instructors do encourage participants to go at their own pace. This can be helpful as you get into better shape. Like we always say, check with your health provider before starting any new form of exercise or increasing your level. Good things can be harmful. We love you, so love yourself by staying healthy. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more amazing and informative videos. Peace and love.